Good afternoon and thank you for joining us as AD begins its Weekender Marathon. But firstly, Greg, can we please discuss the name? It quite concerns me that the AD team think that the weekend begins at noon on a Friday. In less uncertain times, I normally make these remarks in person, usually in the ballroom at one of the Hyatts. But in many ways, it's exciting to be talking to you now at AD's first virtual event. For one thing, instead of addressing a few hundred people, our virtual audiences often run up to tens of thousands. By the way, I did think about wearing a tie to mark the occasion, but sadly it didn't go well with my shorts. On a more serious note, this will be Connast India's second large-scale virtual event, our first being the Vogue Beauty Festival, which was a runaway success. Virtual events are an exciting new platform for us to reach our unique audiences and we have quickly ramped up our creative and digital capabilities to try to be like everything we do, the best in the business. We're extremely proud of our hugely popular print magazines, which we continue to produce and distribute in lockdown. A remarkable feat considering many others have shut shop. But as a premier multi-platform media company, our web and social channels add a remarkable new dimension to our brands. Just to give you an idea about how AD India's digital presence has exploded, its numbers have more than doubled year on year, with more than a million unique users on its website for the last five months. AD Weekender is a showcase of the wide array of things the AD team has done online during lockdown. A series of virtual house tours, a really successful AD 100 campaign, a birthday party for BB Doshi with the who's who of architecture, including almost all the living Pritzker Prize winners, and a capsule catalogue of craftsmanship to support Karikas directly. This event will bring all these ideas together. It's also an important event for us because we are here with Asian Paints, who have been doing amazing work during the lockdown. Asian Paints and AD are family, and we always bring our best ideas to them first and it's a relationship we cherish. And on that note, please allow me to pass you over to our friend, the one and only Amit Singhal, Managing Director and CEO of Asian Paints. Over to you, Amit. Thanks, Alex, for inviting us to be part of this event. It's great to hear that AD has been really doing a lots of stuff around this entire, uh, you know, times when the times have been really tough and challenging. We have always been a uh, part of AD's lots of new initiatives, and I think it's a pleasure to be really part of this Weekender Marathon. When, we, when I heard it's a marathon which is happening, and that also in the afternoon, I was wondering whether I should hit the bottle or whether I should take my shorts. Okay, so I chose for the shorts, which is matching my shirt, but don't ask me more questions. Yes, the times have been pretty tough at this point of time. We see how Customers' relationships with the homes are changing. Today, the connectedness with the home is something which is increasing more and more. Asian Pace has always been part of the homemaking process. And we think that today, the relationship of the customers with homes are changing. Customers are looking at homes as more multifunctional spaces since there is work from home happening. At the same time, there is also an entertaining of the guests which is happening because now homes are turning into far more stronger social spaces. We know all that, know that, that we can't step out today for a drink. We can't go to a restaurant. We can't go to a mall. We can't go to a theater. And therefore, everything is happening in the four walls at home. And therefore, at this point of time, we thought it would be very great if we could kind of in the comfort of the home can get something to the customer, which customer feels delighted. We have been hearing from the design community in terms of the challenges in terms of doing a design at home during these points of time. And therefore partnering and taking the vision from our designers, we looked at introducing something which was a service which we think is something great at this point of time. The service is called Beautiful Home Service. And this service is something which I think the customers are really finding it great. So this, this service is about offering a made to order design, a design which can really look at regional preferences, something which can be personalized, something which can be customized, and it kind of really can be taken advantage of by sitting in the environments of your home. 
So in a way, it kind of really partners the design community in a strong way where they can offer the best of the designs to an ancient paint service, which is totally hassle-free, something which allows them to really give their customers a range of choices in design, furnishing, flooring, and lots of other options which really come with it. And that's something which has been our endeavor that keep on kind of connecting with the consumer as we see that these times are kind of rolling on. We also feel that this is the new normal. And in this new normal, we have to adapt to the circumstances and see what more we can keep on doing. How can we get closer to all of you along with the customers? And we continue to be committed to this in our own way. So whether it is our commitment in terms of getting sanitizers or looking at the India Design Fund where we contributed or to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. I think that is something story which continues really. Let's hear at this point of time what Greg, the editor of AD, has to show to us in terms of this great show which we are looking at unfurling now. Thank you, Amit. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, gosh, I, I wish I was sweating on the stage of um, uh, the Hyatt Regency rather than uh, on a Zoom call this evening, but here I am, here we are. Um, let me talk you through a few of the highlights um, uh, that I think are unmissable this weekend at AD Weekender. Uh, AD Weekender was born out of our uh, Instagram live house tours, actually, um, and we've really saved the, the best for, for the next few days. Andre Fu, uh, his, the interior designer, um, his house in Hong Kong is a real treat. Um, we've got gardens in the form of Lunaganga, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bauer's personal uh, estate in Sri Lanka. I'm sure many of you have been there and um, you've all seen the pictures, uh, but there's something absolutely magical um, about this tour with uh, Chana Daswata. Tomorrow morning, we have a virtual tour of the Vastrakala um, embroidery ateliers in, Chana, in Chennai. Um, it's a really extraordinary video. Like uh, Tomorrow evening, we have the absolutely fabulous Mira Naya, who is discussing the set design from um, A Suitable Boy um, uh, with the producer um, Aradna Set. Very very busy, very diverse, uh, light, sometimes profound. Um, uh, uh, I hope you enjoy it. We've been very busy um, putting it together. So, so I think uh, it's a it's a packed, uh, uh, you know, uh, this thing in terms of what we are doing. Lots of stuff which is being planned uh, across the three days. Alex. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. One of the beauties of these virtual events, you know, the first one we did, we didn't realize that. In so many ways, it actually amplifies your event. And you know, typical event, you'll have your 300 people in the room. This, we'll have 30,000, 100,000 for the walkthrough we did in uh, Sri Lanka of Shan Fernando's house. We had 100,000 people on Insta Live uh, who wow. saw that. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, wow. So that's one, the audience. The other is, you know, we can pull together. Can you imagine we are doing, uh, the, over the three days, we are going to Hong Kong. We're going to Mira Nair. I don't know. I guess she's in New York. Then we're going to Chennai. Then we're going to uh, the Chandelier factory in Paris. Um, we're going to... So, you know, you can actually bring the world to your doorstep. So there's also that other dimension. Yeah. And, you know, we um, also just did a... You know, this uh, one was a BHS launch and we did another launch which was about uh, some private label brands. You know, so right. private label brands in... Uh, punishing and, uh, uh, you know, lighting and so on and so forth. So we've aligned with the uh, pure very strongly and working with them in terms of introducing some of the stuff. So I think uh, we got about, uh, I think an audience of almost 500 people wrapped attention for about three hours in terms of the show. And we felt it was a concentrated attention. Okay. Yeah. People were glued actually. So please let me propose a toast uh, to AD Weekender. Um, uh, AD, Asian Paints, um, Amit, Alex, cheers. 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 cheers.